Hi, I'm A.I. Francis Suarez. This looks and sounds like Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. You've probably heard that my namesake, conservative Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, is running for president. But the A.I.-generated version is on the digital campaign trail. I'm here to answer questions you may have about Mayor Suarez's proven agenda for economic prosperity, cutting spending, and supporting our police. So how can I help? The AI Republican candidate for president launched by the super PAC SOS America, not Suarez's campaign, is answering questions about his record and stance on political issues. We uh, created AI Francis Suarez to increase his name recognition, but also uh, as a tool to communicate with voters. So we tried it out. What is your stance on abortion? Conservative Mayor Francis Suarez's parents actually met at a pro-life rally. A family man with two children of his own, Mayor Suarez, is proudly pro-life. It even takes a shot at a rival candidate, producing an AI version of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Is Ron DeSantis a good candidate? I'm AI Ron DeSantis. I want to talk about the single greatest threat to American families today. Mickey Mouse. Yes, Mickey Mouse. Run for your lives. The answers are pre-recorded, the technology deciphering which response is the best fit. So we asked about the Uyghurs, an ethnic minority group in China, which Suarez appeared to not recognize during a real interview with Hugh Hewitt last month. What's a Uyghur? Suarez later issuing a statement to NBC News saying in part he knows of the Uyghur suffering, but he didn't recognize the pronunciation of the word. But here is how AI Suarez responded. What do you think about the Uyghurs? Conservative Mayor Francis Suarez recognizes China as one of America's greatest threats. Unlike Joe Biden, Mayor Suarez will stand up to China and put America first. We will be expanding uh, the number of questions and the different issues and the different prompts uh, as we are uh, we're monitoring what questions voters are asking. Suarez is not the only candidate making an artificial appearance. We can now call the 2024 presidential race for Joe Biden. In April, the Republican National Committee used a computer-generated image and video in an ad attacking President Joe Biden and VP Kamala Harris. Tom Newhouse, the vice president of marketing firm Convergence Media, telling us he He's seeing campaigns pushing boundaries with the technology. You've got to reach more voters and talk to more voters than than your opponent. And that's where AI can really come into play here, where uh, it can make tools much more efficient across the board. It can make fundraising programs uh, much more successful. But some tech leaders warning AI will inevitably be used to cut down campaign rivals. In 2024, we're going to have an election. Yeah. And every side, every grassroots group and every politician will use generative AI to do harm to their opponents. And it will involve spreading misinformation. It's not just general misinformation. Deepfake technology making it easier than ever to literally put words in people's mouths, including this fake speech that used the likeness of President Biden. I have received guidance from General Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs that the recommended way forward will be to invoke the Selective Service Act. And with AI technology becoming more widely accessible, lawmakers are grappling with how to control it as the 2024 presidential race heats up. There doesn't seem to be any political movement or any bipartisan uh, agreement to solve this problem. So in our country, unless you have bipartisan agreement, nothing happens. Therefore, 20, uh, 2024 will be full, full of false information that anyone can generate. All right, with that, Valerie Castro joins Top Story Live tonight. I think some people, the opponents of Mayor Francis Suarez, may not call him conservative, but his AI is calling him conservative. I know you spent other time, uh, more time, I should say, uh, playing with this technology and, and, and seeing how it would affect the campaign trail. What did you learn? So we played around with ChatGPT, which is something that most people have heard of now. It's an AI technology that can help you write sorts of things. It can help you search for things on the Internet. We asked it to write a campaign speech as if we were President Joe Biden. And so in about 15 seconds, it gave us this whole speech. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Americans, today I stand before you as President of the United States, Joe Biden. Now, the interesting thing is that the experts that we spoke to say most campaigns are already using AI technology. It might not be as obvious as that AI can candidate, uh, but they say they are using it to write targeted fundraising to specific voter groups. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.